She said that she had gone into the closet and there was a little girl in an old-fashioned dress with ringlets sitting in the corner playing with dolls. Somebody passed, Somebody passed in, in this room. room. Wasting illness. What? I heard a male voice. No, I had the atmosphere. Changing. Changing. Yeah. Much heavier. I, I'm getting my health. Yes. A heart problem. Yes. historic city of Kingston, there stands a turn-of-the-century home called the Secret Garden. Warren and Gary have recently purchased this house and wonder if the ghost stories they have heard from the previous owners are true. We did speak to them about the hauntings and uh, over the course of a couple months they told us a bunch of stories on what was going on in the house. The previous owners, John and Mary Ann, have had several experiences. It was always during the night, early, early morning, we'll say, first thing, like between 2 and 3 in the morning, I would hear footsteps, the creaking of footsteps on the stairs and the swishing of taffeta, that swishing sound that taffeta makes. And I would hear that coming up and down the stairs or going up and down the stairs and along the hall. Internationally renowned psychics Christine Hamlet and Jackie Dennison spend their days and nights helping wayward spirits into the light. Oh, place, isn't it? Yes, that's really... Jackie and Christine are on their way to investigate and to see if they can help. Hey, let's do it! <laughs> John told me one morning that he had heard tinkling of glasses. All of a sudden, tinkle, tinkle coming from this cupboard. What I did was to open up the cupboard while the glasses were moved. There was about three or four glasses that were out of position. The rescue mediums have no knowledge whatsoever of the home they are about to visit, but they have made some earlier premonitions. Straight away I just felt there was a very historical feel to the where we were coming, that the history yeah. was in there straight away. A man with thinning hair man wearing a, a red uniform. Yeah. John. Oh, I've got John, John as well, and I've not written it down. I yeah, wish I had a I have John there. I, I picked up on a John. My daughter-in-law told me in the morning that she woke up to being violently shaken by a man dressed uh, in early Victorian clothing. She also said that she experienced a um, clouded white figure at the foot of the bed. It does feel as though there's something in this area. Yeah. It's not just this, just it's not, house, it's the it's whole It's not, it's the whole area. area. Yeah. As if there's tunnels or there's something. Yeah. I'm not quite sure yet. A woman living in a place from being a young woman to being an old woman, living there a long time. Days before their arrival, the rescue mediums created these psychic drawings, which are physical representations of their premonitions. And I had a few drawings, and this is the lady. She's, she's been sad in her life, because I, I, I think she was a... I don't know whether she was married or she lost the person she loved, but this is her young, and this is her older, and this is like, you know, she, um, she stayed in the same place. Our son was playing hide-and-seek with his son, who was about three at the time. He knelt down behind the chair, and all of a sudden, he heard this, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> he took his little son by the hand, and they left the room, because he, he was aware that, you know, there was a presence in the house. The secret garden has been awaiting their arrival. 
I'm hoping by having them here that uh, they'll be able to put some validity to some of the stories from, uh, from our guests and from the previous owners. Jackie and Christine are seeing the home for the very first time. They are the rescue mediums, psychics who make house calls. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Secret Garden. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Gary. Hi, Chris. I'm Warren. Nice to meet you. Jackie. Welcome. Hi, Jackie. Hi, 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 Jackie. Jackie and Christine sit down with the current and previous homeowners to discuss their premonitions. Hello, Chris. Hi. Hi, Marianne. Hi. 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 Hi.
But I did feel that um, pain down my arm. Did you have the same thing? There's a feeling of a lady that lived here a long time. Mm. Is this the same lady that had visited the previous homeowner? One day I was in here and I uh, cleaned the room and I pulled the, the bedding very tight and taut like this and smoothed out all the wrinkles and fluffed the pillows. A little while later, I glanced in the room and I noticed that the pillow had an indentation in it uh, where a head had been lying and an indentation or an impression of a body or someone who had been lying on the bed. Something outside the room catches the rescue medium's attention. Music. I can hear music. I've just heard music. Did you hear it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> One of his music lessons or something. Somebody being taught here. <laughs> Strange things have occurred in this room as well. One of our guests, she and two of her sisters came to spend the weekend. And at breakfast the following morning, uh, one of the sisters immediately sensed a presence in the house. She said that she had gone into the closet and there was a little girl in an old-fashioned dress with ringlets sitting in the corner playing with dolls. We're having a guided tour. Are they shutting the door? Push the door. Thank you. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I care. The rescue mediums are going to stay the night at the secret garden and are about to find out just who their tour guide is. Jackie, are you scared? The rescue medium sends two spirits in this Kingston home and continue their investigation on the topmost floor. But something is making them feel sick. No, I, I, the atmosphere is getting uh, yeah. much heavier. It is, up isn't it? Here. I mean, it is higher up, but it's heavy. Yeah, I agree. It, yeah, it is. I feel very out of breath. The air's thick. Mmm. Oh, that pain's come back now, stronger. Yeah. This is the Serenity Room, a place where a young couple witnessed a haunting. They had booked uh, the Serenity Room up on our third level, and they were here for their anniversary. And she said, well, the last two nights at exactly 2.02 in the morning, I've woken up, and there's this gentleman in, in a long, looked like a long leather coat, um, had a cane, and uh, she said it, he didn't move or say anything but she just wanted to know if, uh, if the house had spirits in it. Jackie and Christine sense a spirit here as well. I quite feel sort of really sort of agitated with this person here. Do you? Yeah, as if I'm, I'm, I'm wringing my hands for something. I'm getting a bit sort of dizzy Well, we're as bound well. to link into a lot of spirits, that, you know, people that have lived here and gone and stayed here and gone. Mm. But I do feel that the main one is, is, is a lady. Yes. You're in agreement with that? Yes. I think it yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, and I don't feel uh, nasty with this lady no, or anything else. No, in fact, else. it's a nice feeling. Just hang on a sec. What? I heard a male voice. Did you? Yes, and I thought I was with that lady, but I've just heard a male voice. Did Can you, you talk to me again, friend, please? Listen, just walk, walk over here, walk that way there. And see if you pick up what I've just picked up. And my leg. <laughs> yeah. This and leg. A rush. It's yeah. definitely something very significant in this room. There is. It, 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 it feels like a... We take some you know the other house we went to and there was like a sick room in it? It's yeah. It's the same feeling, but I, I do a feel... Nursing. Somebody passed, somebody passed in, in this, this room, room from yeah. quite a wasting, long... <sighs> Wasting illness. Illness, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've been drugged. Night begins to fall, and Jackie and Christine will stay at the secret garden 
and search their dreams for the spirits they met earlier. So you're reading what? The Secret Garden. The Secret Garden, that's very appropriate, isn't it? Might keep the ghosties away. <laughs> oh, well, I'm hoping that somebody's going to come forward. Really? Mm. Oh, well, you read that one then. We shall see, yes. <laughs> so I shall tell you in the morning. Yes, do tell all. All right, have spirit, we'll travel. <laughs> no, no. All right, night, no, John Boy. No, Mary Ellen. Christine is sleeping in the Serenity Room, where she felt a male spirit only hours before. Jackie? Yes? Are you still awake? Yes. Are you scared? No. Are you? God, I am. Who's scared? Talk. Night, the male spirit makes a direct connection with Christine. At breakfast, Christine confirms the visitation was not from the earthly plane. Yeah. So you weren't walking about, were you? No, I was not walking oh, about. Are you sure? I am positive. It felt like somebody sat down on the bed and then there was like a bit of cold. Because it's a different cold when spirit bring cold than you know, cold, cold. Right. Jackie and Christine visit the Serenity Room one last time. No, I feel very connected to this man. I've, I've felt like that since I first came up here. Mm. It's um, definitely got uh, uh, sadness. I think it's quite a, a romantic story, mm. you know. Following the rescue medium's ghost-filled sleep, Jackie and Christine prepare to present their findings, along with independent research to the homeowners. In this house, the rescue mediums have uncovered the ghost of a male and a female, along with several spirit children. They have now been given the independent research to combine with their premonitions and present these findings to the homeowners. The research has been done and um, to see how it all tallies in with what we found at the house. Um, we found out quite, um, quite a bit about the various occupants. We told you about, you know, the lady that was here for a long time? Yes. Um, well, we you know, have found out there was a, a couple here that were here for quite a long time. When we first came in, I think we both saw her stood at the top of the stairs, pacing back and two, not in anguish, just walking back and two. Her name is actually Eva. Eva and John McKay were the original occupants of the secret garden. Well, actually, they, they built the house. It was John and Eva. McKay. When we got John yeah. as well we when we were walking the name around. Of John. John. Oh, I've got John as well, and I've not written it down. I yeah. wish I had it done now. John, yeah. I, I picked up on a John. I do feel album. that he passed before he passed her. First. Somebody passed. Somebody passed in, in this room. From yeah. Like a wasting Long. Wasting illness. Illness. Yeah. yeah. And you know how the, the lady on the pictures are, is a little bit melancholy? Yes. That, that's the reason why, because, you know, they were together here for so long. Eva and John lived in the secret garden for many years, raising several generations of McKay's. But they were not the only occupants. This gentleman here was, was the doctor who was actually retiring, but his son, um, yes, his son was here and he, he actually had a practice here um, and he was a paediatrician. So it would explain why, the, why children the children were in and out yes. because he actually practiced from here. Dr O'Connor had his paediatric practice in this house from 1943 to 1951. But there is another reason for the children's presence. In 1837, there was a school built here, and you picked up on teaching, didn't you? So, yes, yeah. Especially so, music. Do you think there was music, music taught here as well at one time? Music. Okay. 
pin. Before the secret garden was even built, this was the site of the Miss Barclay School. And even further back, something else lay beneath the ground. It does feel as though there's something in this area. It's not just this. It's not. It's not. It's the whole area. In the early 1800s, this area of Kingston was a burial ground for the military and the tens of thousands of people killed by typhoid. So now you have some history. I know, I'm thrilled, yes. absolutely yes. thrilled. <laughs> so who lives in a house like this? Well, lots of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> We're not alone. Well, they know they're no, not, you're they not must, alone. They must love it though. The rescue mediums say goodbye to the spirits and the earthly owners of the secret garden. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, lovely to stay thank here. You thank, so you. Much. thank you. Thank you for staying with us. Oh, thank you for the scotch. Oh, any time. <laughs> any time. When you come back, there's more. Oh, we'll keep you to that one. <laughs> Bye. How do you feel this investigation went? It was nice. It was a good feeling, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's hope they're all like that, but oh, yeah. we don't think so. <laughs>